guys, I just wanted to make a tutorial for you all so you know the easiest way to get some nice cash and reason to die awakening. So a lot of people have been doing single player and void farming and the boss battles and whatnot, but actually the fastest way to make cash is to do prison versus environment in a high rank server on uh, multiplayer. So if I were to go ahead and try to join one of these versus the environment with party share servers, you would find that I would be making about 4,000 cash per round, pretty much. Uh, sometimes you can make more than that, sometimes you make a little bit less. Typically, I make between two and 6,000 cash, which is a pretty dang decent amount. If you think about that, after 10 rounds, you're going to have about uh, 40,000 in-game dollars and the cool thing about uh, versus the environment is everybody is a survivor every single time uh, rescue and arena are nice because you get that bonus cash but the thing is uh, in these game modes you're not guaranteed to be a survivor so as you can see I'm a zombie already and you have to wait to go ahead and uh, play the game so if you were in the prison versus environment server the best thing you could do is create a party and just name it anything and you want to go ahead and invite as many high ranks as you possibly can um, so if you were to look here you'd want to invite people with the stars with uh, the little asterisks and whatnot the bars and their names basically anything of any value and what that's going to do is you're going to be like, okay, well, these people aren't going to die very easily. All these high ranks will survive for a very long time. And as long as they're alive, you're going to get 150% extra cash. And you're going to get, uh, or I mean, 50% extra cash and 50% extra XP. So that's an amazing thing in itself. But also the high ranks, you also get a small portion of every kill they make. So that'll easily boost your cash up and you can buy pretty much any gun in the game as long as you're a high enough rank for it. If you're not a high enough rank, I made a different video a while back that's a nice tutorial for ranking up nice and fast with contracts. Uh, so your loadout, if you're a high rank, you're going to want to use the M249. I would not recommend hipfire simply because uh, at the end of the round you're going to be making a lot of cash from long range. And I would also go with the RPG. Now if you have the reload speed attachment, that would be nice. I don't have it, but I'm going to buy it in just a second here. And that'll help make you some nice cash pretty fast, actually, because uh, one of these RPG bullets will kill a ridiculous amount of zombies. And if you wait for them to all be clumped around and you get a decent amount of special zombies, you'll be getting 100, 200, 300 cash per RPG shot. Um, as for armor, you could go with... Uh, a vest give you an extra clip that's good for the m249 because ammo is kind of hard to get around here so i would say maybe tactical one because then it's nice and cheap but if you don't really care about clips i would go for the fire vest so that way elementals have a harder time killing you yeah you could go with the faraday vest but honestly you don't really get too many um electric elementals until pretty far post game and they can be eliminated fairly easy with the rpg as for items you could go with a lot of different stuff, but I like just keeping the jetpack and nothing else. And that preserves a lot of cash, and I stick with my fire vest so that way elementals don't kill me. And then I can just fly all around, sniping people from above with, above with RPGs and M249s. And, you know, in about 5-10 minutes, I'm making 2,000, 4,000, 6,000 cash. It really depends on how long you're able to survive, because the longer into the game you're able to, uh, the more money you'll be able to make from your RPG and M249. So you're going to want to utilize the fuel in your jetpack for as long as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get into a prison versus environment server so you can see just how much cash I'm making in a single round. I hope this helps you guys. Alright, so here you can see that I have joined the Prison vs. Environment server and everybody is going to be a survivor. So I'm going to go ahead and equip my jetpack, RPG, and M249 along with my fire vest. Uh, you can see right now I have 6,881 cash and it would be good to join a high rank party. So party invites, there we go.
So now I'm in a small party with one person who is a high rank and the other two are low ranks, but that's fine. In later rounds when I have more time I can make a party with some decent high ranks. So when I spawn in the first thing I'm going to want to do is try to get some items. Uh, some items... why can't I move? There we go. Uh, some items spawn right inside there in that medkit box down here. You can actually punch through the wall to grab stuff if you press F and then punch. Uh, but for whatever reason I lagged a bit so I couldn't do that in time. There's a med kit box up here. Uh, you can just sprint up there and grab it. And then there's another one up top if you spawn up there. There's really no benefit of buying a disruptor or anything until further on in the game when you actually have some uh, player zombies. But as you can see no one's died yet or messed up. So it's going to be a while before we actually start rolling in some cash. So now we just gotta go ahead and wait for those guys. And it's really laggy, you can see. I'm getting uh, I'm getting cash without doing anything, just by being in a party with guys who are killing some zombies. Uh, so that's, that's pretty nice. I'm gonna get $8 for killing one of these AIs as opposed to $5 because I'm in a party. And you'll see I'm gonna make my cash back in no time once some actual players start spawning in. Now all we have to do is wait. Alright, so someone died already. So now we're going to get a another player. <laughs> There's a gravestone and everything. That's great. Alright, so now that we have a player spawning in, we're going to get some more cash. In the meantime, we can just go ahead and kill these AIs. It's really laggy though. Unfortunately. Oh, we can't pick up the med kit, but we can get the hammer? No, oh, okay. And we're already up to 6796 six cash, which is good. And now we have two player zombies spawning in. Gosh, this game is so slow. It's really lagging bad. move too much. It's completely frozen. I'm not sure if it's just on my screen or if it's like that for everybody, but either way it's pretty bad. Alright, so you're gonna see we're gonna be making some major cash once a couple more people are dead. Just watch out for tickers when they're spawning in, because if they uh, they rush you, you're gonna get insta killed just like that kid did. That's why I'm not going over really close to the spawns of those guys. Oh, and there's our first brute. So, once this guy has low health, 
uh, you can spam RPGs to get nice juicy 150 cash but uh, it's pretty hard to time that properly because there's so many people attacking it at the same time so until there's fewer people I'm not really going to be using my RPG too much simply because uh, it costs one whole reload box to get one more ammo So as you can see we've already made 1000 cash and it's only been about 5 minutes and we're not very too far into the round yet. And there we go, it's a nice little 150 cash right off the bat. Just gotta wait for some more zombies. Be really careful with these tickers, because especially when it's laggy, you never know what's gonna happen. Okay, so you can see there's a bunch of guys spawning over here. I'm gonna go ahead and use an RPG on that. Looks like there weren't too many special zombies over there, but I still made a decent 80 cash. And one of my party members died. So now I will lose my party bonus. That's why it's really important to invite people to the party who are a very high rank. Alright, already we've almost made 2,000 cash. And I'm going to go ahead and reload there. Simply because that's not a oh great maybe it's a supercharged brute. Simply because that's not a common reload box. Make sure you kill any leapers and eggers that spawn. Let me go ahead and use that. It's quite laggy. Alright, so I got grabbed by an Edgar and it doesn't look like anyone's going to help me out. But, I did make 2,000 cash in 5 minutes. So, I hope this strategy helps you guys out. And, good luck farming. Peace.